being able to go to school in the middle of a big city was a nice change because there was always so much to do on campus and off campus. And I wanted to come and be somewhere where I felt like I would be able to perform the same academically, somewhere where it wasn't necessarily easy, but I was still being challenged and I was still being engaged. So I think the combination of that made Queen Mary the perfect place. But I found with Queen Mary, people reach out to me and like, ask if there's anything that you need, definitely let me know. People in the International Students Office, I always knew where to go if I did have any questions. There was never a time where I had a question that I felt I didn't know how to get it answered or who to go to to answer it. Pretty much like nearly all of the friends I made in first year were all from different parts of Europe. They were like half French, half Italian, they were from the Czech Republic, from Romania. So you end up making friends from all sides of the world. So like when they finish their degrees and they'll decide to, you know, disperse and go, go off and live wherever they want to live, you've got friends on all sides of the world so you can go and visit. So it's, real, it's not like an impenetrable barrier that like you're locked in, but it's definitely something where you can take a break away from the city. You definitely can survive or if we manage campus and never have to leave, but if you want to leave, it's like two steps away. It's really easy to get into Central London, like the Central Line is right there, District, Hammersmith and City Lines are right there. And once you get on one tube, it's kind of easy to like make your way to another line. So that's one of the great things about London, is transportation to and from Queen Mary isn't hard at all, no matter what part of the city you're coming from. I would say like London and the US are kind of like a Venn diagram where like they're just close enough where like things are still familiar and you, some of your favorite stores will still be here but it's different enough that you can still discover new things as well. People's point of reference is usually the country that they come from um, and so like them bringing that into lecture even in an informal sense like you learn a little bit about a lot of different countries around the world that you would never even really think of because like your first instinct is to go back to where you're from and when other people give you their opinions based on like where they come from you learn a lot.